it's Izzy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a beautiful, wonderful day. First of all, do not say that step one is being pretty. I know somebody's gonna put that in the comments if you do. First step to taking the perfect selfie is location. Taking a selfie is an art form, okay? It's not like super simple, but it's also not super difficult. It's just got a lot of like little things in it. You gotta get that perfect lighting. I personally prefer the window over any artificial light. I just feel like it's a lot, it's a lot more even, a lot more natural looking as well and makes your face look very fresh. So for lighting, stand in front of a nice window or if you're outside, go in the shade. Basically what you're looking for when you're looking in the camera is to see that you have even lighting all across your face. You don't want your face to have these weird shadows and stuff. Unless if that's the look that you're going for, then go for it. But personally, I just like to have a very even lighting so that you can see all the details of my face and makeup and all of that because the masterpiece within the selfie is your beautiful face and everyone wants to see that so make sure you got good lighting all right so i thought i'd just include this little example right here so this is an example of what not to do for lighting as you can see i just move a little bit to the side and make sure that the light is not overexposed and voila as you can see it just becomes a very clean and very even lighting all across so if you really just take the time to find good lighting it'll instantly make your photos look a lot better another thing with location is the background make sure there aren't any things in the background that look like they're going through your head even though they aren't so if there's like a black pole behind me it's gonna blend in with my hair and just make it look like there's a pole sticking out from my head and you don't want that <laughs> so for backgrounds i would suggest a plain background so i would just go for a wall a door like if you put up a sheet over your door that can be a nice background as well again you do this so that the focus of your selfie is your face and also because I feel like it just looks really nice on your feet and makes for a more professional looking photo. All right, moving on to what to wear. Basically, my biggest tip for what to wear is to wear something that you feel confident in. Uh, for example, this outfit, I feel like really cute in it. I feel it's very summery and definitely a vibe that I'm trying to go for. I feel like if you're wearing something that makes you confident, it'll make you more confident overall and I'll definitely show in the photo, thus making the selfie much better much cuter but if you want to you can just wear like a nice top because it's literally just showing like the top part of your body and then also i like doing my makeup so yes wearing makeup that i'm proud of and that i feel good in is definitely a good confidence booster for when you're taking your selfie a little tip that i have for if you are going to be wearing makeup is to take the selfie a little bit after or right after you do your makeup that's when your face is the most fresh it just looks a lot better than at the end of the day when your face is just like running and like personally i just get really oily and it's not cute so yes definitely take Take photos soon after you do your makeup another thing for what to wear is hair what are you gonna do with your hair personally I like to have my hair up so that it is not obstructing my beautiful face so I have my hair in a little low bun if you're gonna have your hair down I think a really cute look that I've seen literally everywhere on Instagram is to have that blown out look where like the front hairs are kind of pushed out to the side of them I'll, I'll put a picture here just try to like not obstruct your face with your hair don't hide your face because you're beautiful the point of a selfie is to show off your face your mouth masterpiece and now that you've gotten ready grab your phone and let's get ready to take a selfie all right taking the photo so now you're holding a phone you're outside you're in front of a wall in the shade and now what do you do well honestly you just start taking photos of yourself selfie taking is a skill and you have to know your angles to get that perfect shot it's all just experimenting the reason why I know my angles is because I've done it so many times I've taken photos so many times every face is different every body is different so different angles will actually make some parts of your face smaller or bigger or look different and you have to find out um, what angle is best and most flattering for you and you are the only person to judge that so one angle that I like to do is to face my left side towards the camera just because that is my favorite side so if you have a favorite side maybe turn your head that way another angle that I love to do honestly I've actually really been loving this angle recently and I never did before is kind of like a side profile so to figure out what angles are most flattering to you just experiment take it up higher to the left to the right Practice makes perfect kiddos, so just start taking those pictures. So I'm gonna give you a couple of modeling tips for you guys. Number one, look at the camera. I feel like making eye contact with the camera and looking straight at the camera is kind of like if you're looking at someone in the eyes. It just really portrays confidence, and I feel like confidence is just so attractive. Definitely just like look straight into the camera, even if it makes you a bit uncomfortable, you'll definitely get used to it over time. Remember, it's just an inanimate object, and really selfies are for yourself and maybe for the Instagram 
Instagram. Honestly, like selfies kind of like made me more confident. So one thing that I like to do, it's really weird, but like instead of having your lips completely closed, have them slightly open, but not too open to the point where it just looks like you're about to eat something. I don't know. Just having your lips slightly open makes it look like a more relaxed look. So really, if you're feeling cute that day, don't feel shy. Just whip out your phone and just start taking pictures of yourself. It's not vain. It's literally just you taking photos and then going back and admiring yourself. I feel like it's a really great way of building confidence. Another tip that I have is to literally just smile. And you can also just make a bunch of silly faces. And I feel like a lot of the silly faces and fake laughs that I do are actually the photos that turn out the cutest because it just looks more genuine and natural. So for composition, if you go to your settings and turn on the rule of thirds for your camera, it'll show up with the rule of thirds on your camera when you're taking photos. You want to keep your eyes on the top second line in the middle or as close to it as possible. I just feel like that's the most flattering and also that your face is center or somewhat center in the photo. Now that you know how to dress, how to pose, and how to take the photos, just literally go ham. Be confident, try different faces, and have lots of fun. I literally usually take like 200 to 300 photos dependent on how I'm feeling and just have fun you don't have to take that many but that's just I'm just being extra and then after I take the photos then I'll go into my editing process if you guys want to know how I do my editing process with selfies please make sure to like this video I'll share with you how I narrow down 300 photos to just two photos to post to Instagram I'll show you my go-to editing and also just how I edit my selfies in general so yeah if you like this video please make sure to give it a like comment down below subscribe all those things help me and my channel out so much I would really appreciate it if you do that um thank you for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one bye